Hi, and welcome to how to make whipped body butter. Before I get started, I do have my own body butter shop. If you want to go check it out, it's kamardacosmetics.com. First, you want to start out with a food scale and a big bowl that you can mix in. What I like to do is clean out the bowl with a little bit of alcohol just to keep things sanitary. Then you want to start adding your ingredients. I recommend coming up with your own recipe to fit your budget, and you can pick the ingredients that you would like to use so that it's custom to you. However, I'm going to give you a very basic recipe that you can follow here. So what you want to do is 70% butter and 30% oil. This will give you the best consistency of body butter. And you want your main ingredient to be shea butter. Other popular butters include mango butter, cocoa butter, and kokum butter. And then for oils, I recommend coconut oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed, jojoba, sunflower, avocado, and even vitamin E, which helps to preserve the product. For a very basic recipe, you want to use 7 ounces of butter and 3 ounces of oil, which will give you 10 ounces of body butter, which equals about two full sizes of body butter. So if you want to make more, you can definitely scale that recipe up, which is what I've done here. So here we are adding shea butter, which is definitely the star of the show. It's a natural butter that comes from the kernels of shea trees. It's great for boosting skin moisture and contains fatty acids that improve the skin's natural barrier. Shea butter is filled with antioxidants and has amazing anti-inflammatory properties. It's very high in vitamin A and E, and it helps prevent free radical damage. Now I'm adding coconut oil, which is solid at room temperature but melts when it comes in contact with the skin. It's very moisturizing and high in lauric acid, which is a fatty acid known for its antimicrobial properties. This helps fight against skin conditions such as acne and other skin infections. It's also very high in antioxidants and vitamin E. Next, I'm adding kokum butter, which is naturally a very hard butter. I really like it because it helps the body butters keep their shape and it avoids melting. It's a very moisturizing butter that's great for skin elasticity and it fights inflammation and aging. Next, I'm adding sweet almond oil, which is known for its high vitamin E content. Sweet almond oil is great for protection against UV damage and preserving skin moisture. It also helps with improving skin complexion by fading scars and stretch marks. Next is avocado oil, which protects against UV damage and increases collagen metabolism. It's very high in fatty acids as well and vitamins. So it's a very well-rounded oil and it's also high in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. Next is jojoba oil, which is also known as nature's serum. It's very commonly used in skincare products because it has very good anti-aging properties and it helps the skin retain moisture. It's very high in different forms of vitamin E that help your skin fight oxidative stress. Now I'm adding arrowroot powder, which I definitely recommend that everybody does. It's a natural powder that absorbs excess oil and promotes healing. It's really nice for making your body butters non-greasy and it gives it a very luxurious satin finish. I do about a teaspoon per batch. Next, you want to get a big pot and fill it about a third of the way with water, and I highly recommend getting a hot plate. I'm going to link the one that I use here below. So you want to turn up the heat and get the water boiling and put your bowl of ingredients on top. This will create a double boiler effect. You don't want to heat up the body butter directly. And now you're just going to let the ingredients melt. This takes about 10 minutes to get them completely melted down, so definitely be patient and just keep mixing. Here's what the butter should look like as it continues to melt. Keep going until it's completely liquid and there's no pieces of butter floating around. This is what your final result should look like. When the body butter is melted, carefully remove it from the pot, and this is the point that you're going to add the fragrance. I also recommend using pipettes to add your fragrance so that it doesn't spill and you don't waste any. You can use any fragrance you like, but make sure that it's safe for lotions and body use because not every fragrance is. And make sure not to pass the max usage level for safety. If you do this, it can cause irritation or just be too strong scented. So I recommend using a fragrance calculator. I'll link the one that I use below. And you can put in the exact fragrance you're using and it'll tell you how much you should be using for your batch. So here I'm adding my fragrance, which in this video I'm making my Candy Cloud Body Butter, which is a very sweet scent. 
Now you just wanna put the body butter into the fridge or freezer, which I recommend freezer, but I'm at the office, so I'm just using this mini fridge, which also works well, it just takes a little longer. And you don't wanna take it out until the body butter is mostly solid, but not completely, or else it'll be too hard to whip. While the body butter is in the fridge, you can start setting up your piping materials. So I have two piping bags, scissors, and also a very big piping tip. You can use any tip that you like, they all create different designs. This one is a closed star, which gives a very detailed look. So what you want to do is take one of the piping bags and cut off the tip so that it fits your piping tip inside. And then on the second bag, I'm cutting off an even bigger tip and then I'm going to cut it in half so that it lays flat. We're going to use the second bag to lay out the body butters and insert it into the piping bag. Something I like to do while the body butter is cooling is whip it before it's ready just to help distribute the temperature and then it seems to cool faster once you do that. And now here Here's what it should look like when it's ready to whip. As you can see, it's mostly solid, but still pretty soft. I start on a slow speed and do about a minute per speed, and then I end it on the highest speed possible, and this gets it really fluffy. The final texture should be like whipped egg whites or shaving cream. It should be able to hold its shape, but it's still soft enough to pipe. If it's too soft, it'll leak out and look kind of melted, but then if it's too hard, it'll be really hard to pipe and not look very smooth. This is an example of it being fluffy and a little bit more on the soft side. So now it's time to add the mica, which adds color and a little bit of shimmer to your body butter. So I'm grabbing a second bowl and I'm gonna separate this in half. Depending on how many colors you're doing, you need to separate them all equally. So now that I have it equally separated, I'm going to start adding my colors. In this video, I'm using blue and pink, and I'm starting with the blue, and I don't measure out the mica. I kind of just add a little bit at a time until I get the color that I want. Here's the pink mica that I use, and I will be adding that as well. And as you can see, it's very satisfying to see it drop down onto the body butter. To mix it, I just use my same mixer. This helps to keep it fluffy, and it helps mix in the color really well, so there's no streaks or anything like that. Now here's the pink all mixed in, and then here's me mixing in the blue. This is honestly one of my favorite parts. I think it's so satisfying and one of the reasons I love making body butters. So there's the blue all mixed up, and now you wanna grab your second piping bag and lay it flat. We're going to lay the two colors side by side on the piping bag, and by doing this, it'll create a spiral effect as we squeeze it out of the piping bag, which you will see in a moment. But you just wanna line the two colors up, and then once they're lined up, you just wanna fold the bag in half, and you're about to see here, it spills out. It's okay if it gets a little bit too soft. I think the lights were melting the body butter. If this happens to you, don't worry. I still put it inside the piping bag, and I just let the piping bag sit in the fridge for a little, and it got to a better consistency. So that's all you have to do is just insert it, and you're good to go. So next you wanna grab the jars that you're going to fill with your body butter. I do two sizes, I have a four ounce and a two ounce, and if you're going to be selling your body butters, you should definitely be weighing how much product you're putting in each jar. For me, I make sure each one has at least the amount stated. Here's me piping the jars, I just put a little bit at the bottom, and then I go in a spiral motion. My hair is in the way, so that's very nice. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm filling the jar up, and it's a bit over four ounces, which which is perfect. And this is the final result. And now here's me doing the two ounce size, which I call our baby size. And same thing, it's a little over two ounces, which is perfect. And there's the spiral, which is the most satisfying part. Here's what they look like all piped, and now we're going to add the labels. So firstly, you wanna wipe the surface of all the jars to get any body butter off with alcohol. This is going to help the labels to stick and just keep them clean. For the labels, I actually designed them all myself. Here's an example. I just print them and cut them out of label paper. So here's one of the labels we'll be using today. This is the Candy Cloud Body Butter. And I actually laminate these labels myself just using clear tape. I just peel the sticker paper off the back of the label. Then I line it up on the jar to make sure that it's straight. And then I just stick it right on. 
So here's the finished product, and as you can see, the label looks great, it's polished, it's branded, and the product looks super cute. So that is how you make homemade whipped body butter. I hope this video was helpful, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I have my own shop, if you want to go check it out, it's Camarda Cosmetics. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.